Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Bliss Tech Solutions Tuesday Tech Tips and today our tip is all about upgrading to Windows 11. Now whether you know or not, um, Windows 10 is going to stop being supported in October 2025 so you need to upgrade your computer if you can to Windows 11. Now not all computers support Windows 11 so this tech tip is going to show you how to find out whether your computer supports Windows 11 or not. Here we go. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to find out is are you actually running Windows 10 or Windows 11 already? And you can tell by looking, but the most sort of confident way you can check is if you right click on the uh, Windows um, Start button on the bottom left um, and then select uh, System. What you'll see is under Windows specifications the version of Windows you're running. So you can see here we are running Windows 10. So that's the first thing to check. The second thing you're going to need is something called the PC Health Check tool. So if you go onto your favorite um, search engine uh, and search for uh, Windows 11 Upgrade Checker, um, you will find uh, how to check if your device meets Windows um, 11 requirements, basically this is. And exactly the same thing if you do it in Google, search for the same thing, how to check if your device meets Windows 11 requirements. Um, then once you're on that page, um, you can download the PC Health Checkup from this link here. So you download it, install it, and then you're ready for the next step. So I've done that in advance, so what I'm going to do is run the Health Check tool. This will open up. And we've got here, uh, let's check if your computer uh, meets Windows 11 requirements. So we click check now. And unfortunately now we see that our PC doesn't meet the Windows 11 requirements. Um, basically it doesn't have a TPM and the processor isn't at the right level. Um, I'm not gonna go into the details about what those requirements are. You can check out our article on our website about that and I'll post a link in, in, the, uh, in the blog post to that article. Um, so the options that we've got now, either we need to upgrade these components, which is probably unlikely, uh, or we need to buy a new PC, unfortunately. Um, the good news is, is if it comes up and says it's, uh, it's compatible, you can actually then go and upgrade your system to Windows 11 um, and yeah, enjoy updates for the next uh, 10 years probably. So um, yeah, well, I hope you found this tip useful and I'll see you again next time.